Okay, now I'm going to show you how to create your workspace. So please log into your C9 account and create your workspace. In the tutorial, I'm going to click on the link to log into the C9 dashboard and then I'm going to click on create new workspace. For the project name, I'm going to enter my event. Um, this will be public and here in this git URL field, I'm going to copy the git URL that is provided in the tutorial. So I'm going to scroll down here to create your workspace and under five, I will find this URL. I'm going to copy and paste it and I select Django as a project template and then I click create workspace. So now C9 is going to create my virtual machine and clone the Git project inside. Again, this is going to take some time. I'm fast forwarding it. Okay, here we are. We can see our folders and files, the tutorial start page, and on, at the bottom we have our shell on our Linux server. So the next step will be By default, C9 installs um, maybe outdated version of Django. So we make sure that we have the latest version by upgrading Django. I'm copying this command and pasting it into the shell. And now the Linux server is going to update the locally installed Django packages. This is going to take some time. Okay, here we are. The installation process is currently showing some strange error messages. These can just be ignored for the moment. Um, the next step will be that we check out day one, step one from the Git repository, which will kind of rewind the course to the beginning. Okay, as you might have noticed here in the top left, some folders have disappeared. This means just that we are in the beginning of the tutorial. Okay, now let's have a quick look at the Django project structure. You can find it on the top left here. We can just go through real quick. The my event folder is the root directory of your project. It contains all the project files. Inside of that my event folder, you have a manage.py file. This is a very important Django utility that offers all the administrative uh, helpers on the command line. We will take a closer look at it later. The my event folder is the Python package folder that contains the settings and configurations for your project. Uh, the urls.py is a configuration file where you can map a URL to a specific function or view. This wsgi file is a kind of interface between your application server and your code. And that settings file here contains global configuration settings like database connection strings, passwords, and other kind of configuration stuff. We did not write uh, one single line of code yet, but let's just try to run what we have until now. For this, I'm going to start, I'm going to use the manage pi utility and the first step will be that I run manage pi with the parameter migrate. This is going to create the basic structure of Django in the database. So as you can see here, it is creating some tables in the database and uh, is preparing the default Django environment. The next step is to create a super user. So I'm going to run manage pi create super user. I'm going to name it admin and provide a really complicated password. Make sure that you remember this password because you will need it in the next chapter of this tutorial. Okay, now uh, normally you would just hit run project, but currently this is not working due to some version conflicts with the new Django 1.9 version. So I'm going to use manage pi run server with parameters 
IP and port. This is going to start the local Django server inside that virtual machine. You can open the website from this link and here you can see the Django start page, which does pretty much nothing until now.